that they need to be around about 34 upwards, something like that. And you'll find they're quite fat. You can feel how fat that is, you can feel it in the middle. Touch that. You'll probably see by the photos that have been taken of the fish we've caught that uh, including, well, including a, a sole, uh, a place, or a couple of place now, um, and I think we've caught, yeah, 53 white in, and the last one is a pouting. So all in all, the total fish so far, 53, and, and a conga caught on a drop, which is one of our chaps, Bill, he puts a mackerel, mackerel fillet dropped down off the end off the side of the pier, and he's had um, a conger. Uh, so roughly, all in all, we've had about 58 fish. M majority of whiting, one sole of 36, uh, one place of 34, a place of 23, a place of 24, and a pouting of 13. So all in all, that's one, two, three, four species and we've still got a few hours on the drop to go. We've been catching some insurmountable amount of whitings today. Fortunately, there are at least 100 or so seagulls surrounding the pier and they will clear up whatever, whatever's thrown in the sea. Example, whiting, because whiting don't live really once they're out of the water. They, they, uh, there'd be lack of oxygen so and they very seldom revive. Yeah I've got a, a reel the surf bars to 7000 um, which is I think a very nice reel it's not only is it good on the retrieve but what I find one of the best things about it is it's got a manual bail arm uh, very often you see guys cast out the bail arm comes across all their gear's gone on this one that never happens because once you've cast out it's up to you to put the bail arm across manually um, it's an excellent reel, I've been fishing for a long time and I think that it's one of the best reels I've ever had and if I had to buy another reel I'd certainly buy another one of these. Now for those of you that don't know, Hastings Pier is located opposite the White Rock Theatre, obviously on the seafront. Uh, the best bet for your parking if you are coming down here is behind the White Rock uh, Theatre. Uh, there's numerous sort of parking spots there, or you can park along the seafront as well. We're obviously coming out of the summer season now, so parking's a little bit easier, and you can always drop your gear off um, at the pier, perhaps, find somewhere to park. And you are sharing the pier, of course, with other uh, pier users there's not too much on the pier to be honest uh, so fishing here becomes a little bit of an attraction for some of the tourists uh, you'd need to be somebody that likes talking to people I think if you're at the end of the pier everyone seems to have a bit of a question or two for you and the fishing here is really good Les, Baldy and Bill um, have given a good indication of what can be caught but of course the place fishing here in Hastings is pretty good uh, you'll also get flounder here as well, dab on occasion, and as you saw, a nice Dover sole. Uh, as we're coming into autumn and winter, whiting will take over as the main catch, really. There's always that outside chance of a codling, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so on the pier itself is a little tackle box a place that's got uh, bait. They even do rod hire now as well, and they'll take your tickets uh, for the session. Uh, it's five pounds a rod, and if you want a second rod, they charge three pounds. To fish two rods here, I think you can always put one out of distance. And depending on the tide, um, I'd advise grip leads. Um, seems to be what the boys were using here today as well, uh, just to hold bottom in the tide. It really depends on the state of the tide, um, also whether it's spring or neap tides, but. You may need up to six ounces when the tide's really pushing, uh, but most of the time you get away with three ounces um, when the water's a little bit slack and not running too hard. But those grip leads really do help. They'll help your uh, catch rate as well, especially for things like the whiting and the flatfish you've just seen. Now, a lot of people ask about the mackerel fishing off the pier. Um, unfortunately, you get loads of uh, hang-ups with the 
mackerel and it, the actual um, girders of the pier are sort of festooned like a Christmas tree full of these six hooks of uh, feathers so um, maybe try float fishing for the mackerel or at least on single lures um, not very hard fish to catch from here uh, drop nets another good idea um, to bring up the fish and of course to release them afterwards if you're putting them back and the bait as well as Baldy was just showing you lugworm is like your staple here for the fish that you're most likely to catch particularly those flat fish but why not try something like uh, peeler crab or you could get maddies ragworm perhaps doesn't tend to get used too much on this part of the coast but you could always uh, add something like that to give yourself a little bit of a chance this is the part of the day where it's fishing not catching fish and having a bloody good laugh yeah <laughs> Catching the sun. Catching the sun, yeah, catching the rays. But not the ones in the sea, unfortunately. Have you got your bell on, Bill? Eh? Your bell ain't on, is it? It is, it's on oh, the, it's second on the second ring second down. Ring, yeah. oh. but, uh, we're not really happy at the moment. This, cause, is, uh, this is absolutely unbelievable. Normally, now. after this morning, our, our rods would rod yeah, tips were doing river dance. How many times is it now we have a three hour... Now they've got uh, river rigor mortis. We have, a, we have a three hour... <laughs> Oh yeah, Nothing. We have, yeah. Every yeah. time we come, they go off the feed. Fish go off the feed. Yeah. Prefer it on the flood. We, we yeah. prefer first flood hours. up first three hours. First three hours the flood. Um, and, and then, then first couple of first hours three, down. three hours down. But we just stay all the time anyway. But we we, uh, we're here until say five o'clock, half past five, depending what time. Depending on how it fishes. Till five o'clock today. Yeah. Mine was a six and, and a half pound, six and a half pound, six and a half pound bass. Yeah, on, on a size two hook with lug, and that was about, about a year ago, wasn't it? On Hastings Pier, we've had 46 centimetre um, place. place. We've had three cod, round about two, two and a half pound codlin, I beg your pardon. And we've had uh, dogfish, 54s, upwards to 60. We've had a good few good size fish off of Hastings Pier. Well I think the whiting I think the whiting well the white we we had fifty four whiting in the morning tide. Uh, since the, since the drop since the tide started to drop we've had no whiting at all they've tried up completely i think the reason being is the water's cleared out um, and the mackerel have moved in now and seagulls are going absolutely mad on white bait at the moment so uh, that's probably the reason why the uh, whiting have cleared off into deeper water there's about 15 rods uh, on hastings pier nice to see so many people fishing um, we've just witnessed on the east side um, a bass being caught it uh, looked quite nice so we thought we'd take a rule over and before we got to the fish it was it was being killed and put in a bag unfortunately we asked the chap to bring it bring it out and measure it we did it's 37 we told him the rules and regulations of the fisheries not to keep bass under 42 centimeters uh, within the next half an hour we done our bit we showed him what told him that there'd be a fine and so on. There's nothing much we could have done about it, unfortunately, apart from what we did. First of all, you, you put, to, uh, put you bait put, on, Billy. First of all, you put his lug worm on. He's fishing. What size hooks you're fishing with, Bill? Two. Size twos with beads. So that, that top one is a one. And a one on the top so with beads. On so he's varying it. Oh, I just threw a lugworm on your tea. I didn't know it was on the boat. Yeah, catching, I mean, catching fish is all to, all to do with the wind, tides, elements. Mother yeah. Nature deals with it, really. You know, you, to be quite honest, we've, we've, we've witnessed uh, Great mackerel, days and shit days. mackerel coming in, whiting disappearing today. And that's purely, simply, because the, the, this morning the, the water was muddy, murky, uh, no wind. Now which, uh, there's no wind, the sun's out, it's, the sea's warmed up, and now the mackerel are coming in and... Flat calm. Flat. <laughs> there's a slight ripple on the water, but there's nothing serious. 
and uh, seagulls are going absolutely berserk on the white bait and it's, it says it all really it's uh, that's that's the nature of sea fishing